by mainstream media. The Ukraine does not have internationally recognized international borders. It doesn't exist. Okay. Ru uh, Ukraine is actually still formally part of Russia. It has been since the 10th century. Now, you don't need to watch you know, the mainstream media to find that out. Just look at the history of the Ukraine. You'll find this stuff out. Yep. Next point, point number two. The Ukraine's being run by deep state, CIA, particularly straight after World War II, they had the Soviet Union, and that was the base of operations against the Soviet Union. That seems plausible and a good idea because the Soviet Union are a bunch of bastards. But it continued. It was nothing about defeating communism. It was about controlling Control. this country because Ukraine is a centre for, massive centre for child sex trafficking and pornography development, massive uh, money laundering. It is rich in resources, and so there, so deep state is in, CIA is in the Ukraine, so corporate interests can get in and get those resources. Yeah. So that's just a starter about Ukraine. That's just a quick, you know, five seconds yep. burst no, on cool. the Ukraine. But you understand that you. whatever you're being told on mainstream is so flat wrong. And warning, they will try to persuade you that nuclear war is imminent, that Vlad Putin's a bad man, and uh, and we've got to go alongside um, China to help uh, defeat now. When these things happen, just pay one last clue. Pay attention to who's lining up against this alleged adversary. You've got Biden, Maria Abramovich. Who knows Maria Abramovich? Spirit cooking. Yeah. yeah. Look up. Yeah. Look up Maria Abramovich. She just all of a sudden started talking about getting behind them. Okay. So when when you look at all the worst people on the planet and they line up against somebody, my instinct is to join that somebody and face down <laughs> the evil. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for your question. But thank you. There you go. Appreciate it. My pleasure.